we're going to go on to some of the cool news that came out this week. So here we're going to talk about SharePoint security and why do we care? Well, first off, when an attacker, any sort of attacker, breaks into an organization, they will try to assess how much access they have. And they'll also try to raise as few alarm bells as possible until they're ready for a moment that lets them do something significant. So that something significant is usually double exploitation ransomware, which means first they exfiltrate the files and then they encrypt everything locally. Uh, and they try to just basically smash everything as much as they can in a reversible way. Now, the double exploitation means they can also charge to not leak the information. And this is extremely profitable for criminals because it gives you two completely separate levers to attempt to get a business to pay you. The reason why an attacker then needs to be really stealthy when exfiltrating files is because if they immediately trigger one of these rules, like, hey, there's an excessive amount of downloads you know, or hey, like a bunch of information is suddenly going out over DNS, that's unusual. Um, you know, like it's pretty likely they're gonna get caught before they do any significant damage. What happened here is Verona security researchers found some very sneaky ways that hackers who get access to an environment can download a ton of files the same way that you would expect to download them normally, but not trigger any of the easy access logs that most businesses will be looking for. So here's the scenario. Somebody, an initial access broker, uh, fishes one of your employees and gets access to your system. They then sell that to a ransomware broker who goes through and attempts to download as many things as they possibly can so they can ransom you to not release them. That's going to be confidential information, like all sorts of juicy stuff. Um, if they are able to successfully evade the logs that might trigger a block on their furthered access, they can get the whole thing. So it's really in their interest to learn exactly how this type of attack works and also how to avoid getting caught by these access logs. So here's how it actually works. This is really cool. First, you can open in app. So that means that let's say you have access on a uh, well, like a cloud environment and you wanna open the file locally, but you're not downloading it to your system, you're basically forwarding it onto the application. That leaves a completely different audit trace than just downloading it manually. So it's actually possible to use a PowerShell script to uh, make it so that all of the access that you're doing uh, looks as though it is coming through an app. And that means that unless an organization is specifically looking for not just downloads, but also access, um, they're going to miss this and they're going to be completely surprised when like, you know, potentially terabytes of information leaves the organization and they have no idea why. Pretty cool. I mean, for attackers anyway. So the second one is the um, Sky Drive Sync user agent. So what this means is if you are syncing something or something is being synced to an application, and I'll give you an example here. Let's say that you have access to something in your OneDrive and um, you, are, you have a copy of that folder on your desktop. Um, if that is basically synced automatically from your uh, like online account to your desktop account by an application, that also leaves a completely different audit log. It does not look like a download event. So unless the organization that is potentially being exfiltrated here has specific monitoring for not just you know downloads, but also access, you might completely miss this because it looks like a sync event instead of a download event. So uh, the secret behind this is really stupid, as uh, as is most like really good security research. If you just spoof your user agent to uh, Microsoft Sky uh, Drive Sync, that's it, game over. Like you can you can actually download anything you want without triggering a download link. Now, of course, like for any company that has more advanced monitoring, this is still going to be detectable, right? If like one person starts accessing like literally every file they have access to in the entire company all of a sudden that's kind of a red flag, even if they're not downloading it. But most organizations have pretty simple rules that they're looking for, for like, you know, scary exfiltration or anything like that. Um, so as a result, like they would very probably actually miss this sort of activity. So I thought this was like particularly good research. Um, it was simple, it's effective. And that's why I think this was uh, probably the most interesting thing I've seen all week.